test is the cervical flexion rotation test. I just want to introduce it to you, but you're going to learn this in your science class. This is one of my favorite techniques. Anyone who has painful or limited cervical rotation, which you should actually have you sit and try that. Okay, so try moving your head and neck, right? Rotate like you're looking back to see me. Tell me if there's any pain. Pain. Okay, and then. <laughs> no pain. Okay, try again. I can see the whole pain. bridge of his nose, and I can't. So he has some hypomobility to his right, even though he has pain going to his left. So that would be indicative to do the cervical flexion rotation test that if positive can lead into this muscle energy technique. Remember muscle energy techniques are more isometric mobilizations. We're gonna use our muscles to induce stretch on our joints, okay? Formally on your back. So the actual cervical flexion rotation test is going to look at our C1, C2 joint mobility primarily, right? Because 50 to 60% of our rotation of our head and our neck comes from C1, C2, right? C1 sits on C2, okay? Our atlas and our axis. So you're going to kind of think of his head like a bowling ball. You're going to scoop up the bowling ball and you're going to put him into maximal cervical flexion. And if you look at the bridge of his nose, I'm gonna passively rotate him. That's at least 45 degrees to the right. High for flexibility, 60 degrees to the left. Remember he had pain going to the left and he had more motion and sitting also going to the left. So this would be considered a positive test, cervical flexion rotation test because, and I don't want you to go too into this because you're gonna learn this all in your spine course, I just wanted to show you and how we can make this a mobilization. Um, if there is more than a, remember the exact, I'm not misquoting. If there is a more than a 10 degree difference, one side, or if there is less than 30 degrees, either way, that's a positive special test, okay? Because we want to be symmetrical. He has like a 15 degree asymmetry going more to the left. So, to make it a simple isometric mobilization, I can put my fingers, because remember he's stiff to the right. So we're gonna go to the right. My hand is at his temporalis. You're gonna turn your head as far as, you, as hard as you can to the right. I'm gonna meet your resistance, okay? Yep, and if it hurts, do not go so hard, okay? And we're gonna do that for about 10 seconds, okay? Pain-free isometric. Okay, and I don't want to get too caught up on this, but this is the actual best way to do the maneuver that you're going to learn in your spine course and practice. I can make it more effective by feeling for that first spinous process is C2. I feel with the pad of my finger, my middle finger. I found a C2. Now I'm going to stabilize it. I have my fingers on the lateral aspect of his C2. Okay, but... I don't want you to get too caught up in this because you can do it without, and you can teach a patient to do this to themselves. Go ahead and try it again. Okay, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. You can move them a little further into right rotation. I'm stabilizing his C2, so I stop when I feel movement at C2, and then he's going to do it again. Rotate as hard as you can without pain. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. And now we're going to retest it. So we're going to flex him up and we're going to rotate. <gasps> Look at that. It's about 60 degrees. No, oh, no pain. Whoa. See, and people can feel the difference. <laughs> this is one of the magic weird. techniques. Okay, I have three no, magical yeah. techniques, and this is one of my three. Oh. People notice an immediate difference. Go ahead and sit up. Okay. And we could have right, assessed his number of his pain too, okay? but I'm trying to jam a bunch of stuff into this time frame. So we're going kind of quick. So now try rotating again each way. I can see the whole bridge of his nose now to the right. Less pain. There we go. Okay, so what, make sure when we do this um, muscle energy technique, 
assess their rotation in sitting, assess for symmetry, stiffness, pain, okay? Then you can lay them down, flex them up, turn them, turn them, okay? And see if there is an asymmetry. If your, patient, if your person does not in class have an asymmetry, do both sides evenly. So we're not throwing people off, <laughs> okay? I think we'll do that for now. Um, okay, muscle energy technique. Hip add and abduction, we'll just keep you here. So.